Hey, welcome back. In the last episode, I showed you how I made a single image and how I used a test to kind of get that image to where I wanted it to be, which was great. Um, today, I have four more images to print and these four are going to be put together. So what I wanted to do was put them all on one sheet of paper so I could get a visual sense of what they look like on my screen even before they go to print. And secondly, it's more economically viable to use roll paper than single sheets. So if you can do it this way, it's, uh, it's not a bad, bad way to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the four images together on the screen here. And we can see this one in the top left, I feel is a little punchier than the others with contrast. And I'm going to just adjust that contrast individually on that image. And if I turn it on and off, I definitely think it looks better with the adjustment. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is the bottom left image to me also looks a little punchy. But you know what? I've seen this image printed and I like how it's printed like this. So I'm going to let it go and uh, see how it looks. All right, um, let's send this to print and we'll look all four together. It's always a relief to see that something looks okay when it comes out of printer. Um, I'm very happy with three of these. Um, I'm very happy I made the change on this one. I feel now looking at them all together that I could have made a little adjustment on this to make it match slightly better. I'm looking at the whites and they, they are lovely, but I think they're popping a little more than any of the other whites. So I, could have fixed that but I do have an opportunity to use these three and make that one again if I want to. Okay what's next? Well the big problem for me is how to cut these up to actually frame them. Um, if you're using a scalpel and a straight edge we're talking hospital and stitches if you're me. Um, the other thing is that if you make a mistake you're ruining two prints instead of one. So I've learned the hard way, the best way to do this is with the trimmer. We're gonna take them over to the rotor trimmer that we love and we're gonna show you how we use that and um, get them ready for frames. The next day. If you're making fine art prints and they're for sale and you're using nice paper, I'm using Hanamiyo Burrito, which I love, it's not cheap. So what you don't want to do is mess up. One way of messing up is getting your dirty fingerprints all over the prints. So especially if you're going to handle them, I would suggest gloves. So um, Hanamiyo, sell them. I think lots of people do, but I like them because they say Hanamiyo. Um, the next thing where I always mess up is if I'm not cutting with a trimmer. Um, if I'm trying to do a scalpel and uh, straight edge, um, we're looking at hospital stitches. I have scars on my fingers. So a trimmer is a really good idea. I love this trimmer from Row to Trim um, and it does me very, very well. It's nice and big. Um, and literally it's as simple as lining this up to make this edge as nice and straight. Set your other edge where you want it to be. Make sure this is at right angles with your gloves on because then you're not scared to touch the print. Hold it at the edge here and cut. And you have got beautifully straight cut prints with no fingerprints, um, which is important if you're making fine art. So that's basically my process for getting the image on a piece of paper, getting them to look correct if you have to make a set together and getting them ready to send to the printer or to print yourself. So this show is coming up in June 23rd to 25th. It's Pennsylvania in New Hope. 
And I'm actually really excited about seeing all these prints together. We'll put the details in the link. So if you're in the area, you can come by and say hi. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and then like and subscribe again and tell everybody you know to like and subscribe because my producer Jacob wants me to say that and that was fun and we'll see you next time. Oh, always wear the gloves. If you're using good paper, I feel quite Michael Jackson on these, is it just, no. If you're using, if, no, no.